Hello everyone and welcome to Mighty Greta Wide. Today's topic is vermicomposting. So let's understand this topic with the help of an interesting story. Stay tuned. Today Shaisha is visiting her aunt. Her aunt grows beans, yams, chilies, cherry tomatoes in the garden. Look aunt, there is a star hoid, said Shaisha. Oh dear, I have been trying to stop the worms and insects making hoys. Shaisa said, but aren't these shapes are lovely? Aunt replied, we won't have any yummy veggies in the summer if we let the worms and insects eat the plants. After a while, aunt is doing the household work of watering the plants. Shaisha get an idea. And after some time, Shaisha called her aunt, come outside. And the aunt was shocked at what she saw. Aunt, I caught all the worms in the garden. Look, this fat ones, this wriggly ones, you didn't have to worry about the plants anymore. Oh dear, not all the worms are bad for our plants. Some are our best friend. Let me explain. Cocoons which are lemon shaped eggs shed from the swollen band closer to worms. Inside the cocoon, the baby worms grow and ready to hatch in appropriate three weeks. The cocoons change to yellow from dark brown in this time. When they produced, the cocoons are light golden color and they turn a deep brown color as they mature. Cool and hard-working worms, they don't have any bones. Earthworms digest the organic matter, leaves, plants, etc. Their poops is called casting. Worm casting are great fertilizer. In all their digging and swimming in the soil, worms breaking up the soil and making it soft. The use of earthworm is to convert organic waste into fertilizer. Not all are bad. Some of our good friends, I only wanted to remove the green caterpillars that chew the leaves and stems of the vegetable. Oh, but I don't understand properly. You said the worms are bad for the plants. No, no dear. Worms eat up the decaying matter and then throw it out as a waste. This waste is called casting and makes the soil rich and fertile. Worms are helpful in a process called Vermicomposting. Vermicomposting makes the soil rich and fertile using earthworm. In the garden, things like causes plants that were once alive break down slowly over the time. But did you know that the earthworms are like little helpers in the soil? They dig little tunnels and holes in the dirt. These tunnels are like secret passenger. Just let air and water get to the plant roots faster. So the earthworms make the garden soil better to plant to grow, make it fertile. So in short, the worms are our best friend. They help us to soil, make fertile and good for the plant. The poop is also very good fertilizer. It is called Casting, as I told you before, in all their digging process and screaming in the soil, worms breaking up the soil and make it soft. The use of earthworm is really good to convert the organic waste into fertilizer. Aren't they cool or hardworking too? They are really very amazing. It helps us me to make my fruits and vegetables juicy, crunchy or delicious. Just think Shaisha, if there is no wiggly worms, then how can be our soil more fertile? Worms eat up the decaying matter and throw it out as a waste. And my dear, this waste makes the soil rich and fertile. Oh, this is amazing really aunt. Let's take all the earthworms back to the garden. Aunt and Shaisha returned the earthworm to the garden and said, Sure enough to aunt's vegetable grew up to the big, juicy and very, very delicious and tasty. So this is the way earthworm is useful to us. They are making the soil rich and fertile, make our veggies really very delicious and juicy. I hope you understand worms. For more, stay connected.